In Israel, a military service is uh, you're obligated for the for the military service, and in the age of 18, every boy, girl gets enlisted to the army and do their service. It's something that's required, and it's something that's part of our culture. I was very excited and very excited for it. I did it in the street, Yeah, I knew that three years, it's kind of, it was scary at the beginning because all my friends from Kazakhstan were already uh, studying in the universities, having families, having babies even. And three years later, I do see how it changed me, how it affected me, uh, what I've learned, how my characteristics adopted and how I've grown, I guess. In a military base, you have around you you have Jewish uh, towns, you have uh, uh, Arab towns, and you have all kinds of people. And as a doctor in a battalion, you have to treat everybody. You're the ambulance of the area. They don't have ambulances there. So when there is somebody with an anaphylaxis, with an anaphylaxis due to an allergy, I go and treat them. There is a fire in a house, I go and treat the people. I'm a doctor. I swore to treat and help people. No matter, again, their gender, their age, their sex, their ethnicity, their religion, it doesn't matter for me. I'm a doctor and I fulfill my job as treating people. In the first year of my life, I was in the first place in Nepal, which was mainly in Katmandu and in the Kfarim to the side. The army was a complete force of strength and strength, and we were in the first place. וכמה שניסיתי לדמיין את מה שאני אראה, זה פשוט, זה פשוט הפתיע והיה עצוב ברמות. מה שראיתי זה נפאלים שנמצאים ברחוב, שלא יודעים מה קורה איתם, שאין להם בתים, הילדים הקטנים שלהם איתם פשוט זרוקים ברחוב. ההרגשה הזאת היא שאתה מגיע ככוח מאוד קטן לכמות כזאת גדולה של אנשים, אתה אומר, רגע, איפה... אני רוצה לעזור להם בהכל. First and foremost, I think the most shocking was that I didn't know personally as a citizen, even before enlisting, uh, that we uh, accept and treat uh, refugees in the hospitals uh, from coming from Syria and places that suffer from civil war currently. And we just basically process them and we accept them and we give them full-on medical treatments so us helping those people in need was really really special to me and uh, especially because it really kind of changed my whole perception towards the army i was invited to take part in a humanitarian mission in equatorial guinea uh, there was an explosion uh, on one of their military bases and many people got injured and uh, we were invited by their government there were many children uh, injured and we performed 94 surgeries in eight days and we treated a 750 injured uh, in eight days and uh, we brought like two tons of medical equipment with us <laughs> אין לי חיבור אליהם, אני לא, לא יודעת את השפה שלהם, אני לא מבינה אותם, הם לא מבינים איתי, אני לא יודעת מה התרבות שלהם, אבל המטרה מאוד ברורה לכולנו, שבאנו לעזור להם והם רוצים את העזרה שלנו. אני מכירה המון נשים שעושות תפקידים משמעותיים, למרות שהן אימהות, למרות שהן נשים, והן חזקות ומשפיעות, ובעצם... As a witness and a part of a program that we're supporting uh, refugees coming from Syria and giving them medical treatments, I don't think that the same people that would accuse IDF of being a moral country would still have this claim after hearing those things because that's why I chose to participate in this project because there are many things that people don't know about IDF being in, being, it's, it's, it's almost as if it's more than just an army. We help all civilians around us, any neighboring country. Uh, I think we strive for peace and we don't strive to war. We, uh, it says it in the name of, their, of, the, of the army, it's the Israeli Defense Forces. That's what we do.